Russian soldiers in Crimea were ordered to evacuate their families from the peninsula. Russian soldiers from the air defense in the temporarily occupied Crimea were ordered to evacuate their families from the peninsula. In particular, such an order was received by the invaders who are part of the air defense system deployed in the settlement of Ozovaini in the Crimea. It is noteworthy that this development of events coincides with the relocation of air defense systems to the Belgorod region. As Obzor Revatel media outlet writes, this was reported on the Telegram channel by the military movement of Ukraine's and Crimean Tatars, Atesh. Information about the evacuation of the families of the occupiers from the Crimea was received, among others, by the Atesh agent, who is part of the air defense system deployed in the settlement of Ozovaini, located 10 kilometers from Kirsch. Commanders were ordered to begin evacuating relatives of the occupiers to military towns of the Southern Military District. Atesh emphasized that such an order coincides with the relocation of air defense systems to the Belgorod region. This in turn poses a threat to the enemy's security in the Crimea, leaving it without adequate coverage. It is also known that the Russian occupation army is forming new mobile air defense groups to combat UAVs. For this, Putin's terrorists intend to use Soviet anti-aircraft Mount ZU-232. According to Atesh, such actions by the enemy indicate a strategic reorientation and preparation for new challenges in defense. At the same time, the main attention of the Russians is gradually moving away from the Crimea. Crimea itself is now being squeezed and not just the naval base in Sevastopol. American supplied ATA CMS ballistic missiles and President Biden's eventual lift on the ban from using them to hit targets in Russia means that no place in the theater is now safe from the Ukrainians. An obvious target would, of course, be the Kirsch bridges. One end of them is in Russia, one in Crimea, and they appear still to be a critical logistic supply line sustaining not only Russia's troops in the peninsula itself, but the front line along the Dnipro and east into the land bridge. German leader is a rotten liverwurst and he must ask for forgiveness from Ukrainians. Medvedev German Chancellor Olaf Scholz must ask for forgiveness from Ukrainians for playing a role in plunging their country into misery and helping to revive Nazi ideology, former Russian President Dmitry Medvedev has said. Writing on Telegram, Medvedev, who now serves as deputy chairman of the Security Council of Russia, lashed out at Scholz, who argued that President Vladimir Putin must finally realize that Ukraine is strong and will not be forced to its knees or forced to surrender. He went on to say that there can only be a just peace for Ukraine, adding that working for peace does not mean simply raising the white flag while reiterating Berlin's commitment to supporting Kiev. In response, Medvedev called Scholz a rotten liverwurst, who he said unexpectedly became chatty and talked outright drivel. The former president claimed that Ukraine has become a kind of dominion directly controlled by the United States and NATO countries, adding that Kiev is fully on the Western payroll and is receiving all kinds of the most lethal weapons despite the protests of its own people. So where does this strength come from? Sausage maker? From exuberant corruption which is completely out of control? From the wholesale theft of this aid by the Zelensky clique? or from a dying people, half of whom live in Russia and Europe? Medvedev asked. Scholz should get down on his knees and repent before the Ukrainians for lying to them that they could achieve victory against Russia and for dooming them to the slaughter while sacrificing the well-being of the Germans, according to the former president. The German chancellor should also take responsibility for the revival of Nazism in Ukraine, his own indescribable mediocrity of management and the loss of public confidence in his social democratic party, which makes his predecessors Willy Brandt and Helmut Schmidt turn over in their graves many times over. Medvedev said, the former Ukrainian ambassador to Germany, Andriy Melnik, once called Scholz offended liverwurst. In 2022, the envoy said the chancellor was behaving not very statement-like after he refused to visit Kiev following Ukraine's criticism of President Frank Walter Steinmeier. Melnik was sacked following the remarks.